Welcome back, RealVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith. I've got another property for you. This one is in Chicook County, Arkansas. Yeah, I keep bringing up the Chicook County, Arkansas, just because it's so easy. I mean, I, I talk to the people in the county there about zoning and planning, planning, zoning, building. They don't have those departments. No, no planning, no zoning, no building departments. Um, I, I used to say there's no, no, you don't need any permissions to build here, but I learned more over time. You need a little bit of permissions. There's a septic deal you need to do with the state. They have a they have a uh, permission process. You can do composting toilets um, with the state if you come up with a plan to get rid of the gray water, or if you do a plan, you can create your own plan and submit it to the to the state. You don't need a licensed person or anything if you're working on your own property to put septic in, but it's got to meet like uh, the the Arkansas. Department of Health, ADH requirements, Arkansas Department of Health requirements. So you can go look up their requirements and you can come up with your own plan or copy someone else's plan and edit it to the size that you want to do and install that in your property and do that as a septic system. Or you can hire somebody to do it, to do it for you. This is Arkansas, it's easy. Or there might actually be a um, sewer system on this particular property. So those are some of the little tiny things you have to do in this county to build. The other thing you have to do in this town, this is in Dermot, it's a little town in Chicook County, is you have to talk to the judge and say, I'm going to build something. The judge says, is it wet? And, you know, if it's not a wet property, they pretty much say, okay, it's not in the floodplain, here you go. And he signs off, says, go for it. So you've got to get a flood permit from the judge. Um, and I don't think they cost much of anything on either of those fronts. So let's take a look at this property. And I've been doing more research on how to go make one of these properties happen because I think they're really cheap and easy and uh, I want to see people go make them happen. So here we go. $499 for like sixth of an acre or, or so. And uh, it's got, you know, so here's the maps. So let's pull up the maps. So pull up the map of this one. It's a rectangular-ish lot, almost rectangular. And uh, it looks like it's got a building next door, a building across the street. There's power lines going down the street here. Let's bring up street view at the intersection. We'll drive over to it. Ooh, I got lost. Um, yeah, here we go. No, it's the other. It's behind us. Where are we, Dorothy? <laughs> right? It's like the Wizard of Oz. It got lost in the tornado of technology. Okay, so it looks like they've got some geraniums in their front yard. These are the neighbors. Um, they've got a uh, single wide kind of mobile home there, manufactured home, nice big looking oak tree hanging over the top of it. It might be something else than an oak, but I'm just gonna imagine it's an oak. Um, then they've got a fence, so they probably got an idea where the lot line staked out, and then it's our property. So there's a fence over here, and then there's our property. And uh, so I think you could just back a mobile home right in there Let's see where the fence go. So here's a fence line. So I think you could put one in. You could put one in right here. Just put a manufactured home right in there. There's a power pole in the lot next door. Um, there's a lights on the street. It's a paved street with utilities. It looks like there's an old driveway here. So you might not even have to make a driveway. You might just fix up an old driveway. So they probably have a ditch with a culvert going under the, the driveway. So it looks like you could drive right through there you could probably get your mobile home delivered right over there and put into the lot hook it up and go so call it manufactured home to you a manufactured home this one looks like it's more of a manufactured home on blocks like a cinder block kind of foundation i just wanted to back out and show you where we're at okay so i went a little too far let's get back into the full screen view and let's do the little negative sign yeah oh, it's behind my shoulder but i'm going to hit the negative sign and zoom out so we're in this town and there's a bunch of manufactured homes in the town. There's a school like kitty corner across the street. There's those schools. Your kids could just walk over there and go to school. There's a river over here. As you zoom out some more, the Mississippi River is off to the, to the um, east of here. There's the Mississippi River, but it's got some smaller rivers around the area. You go catfish fishing and all of them. There's probably other kinds of fish, probably bass and crappie and stuff too, but I like catching catfish. <laughs> and so... There's a bunch of farming around the area. This is a farming belt and just small town community with schools and infrastructure to go for it. That's dirt cheap. 499 bucks for the land. 
So what do you do with that land? You know, what do you do with it? That's that's what people ask. Okay, so I pulled up um, Clayton Homes. Clayton Homes is one of the most popular. There's other manufacturers of, of uh, manufactured homes too. This is just one of the more popular ones. And um, it's this one is in Alexandra, Arkansas. This is the closest one that I, I found. There's probably other dealers, different parts of Arkansas, but... Uh, yeah, this was, I was just looking up Clayton Home Dealers, and this one seemed to be one of the closest ones. So I started, well, let's go back to their, their home site. So if you Google Clayton Homes in Arkansas, you'll get this website. And then you can search by price. So I, I like twenty to $50,000. That sounds good, right? So I did twenty to $50,000. My dog's barking at someone walking by. Um, I'm going to leave the beds and baths open. We'll see what we get. So twenty to fifty thousand dollars selection. We got the thirties. Starting in the thirties, there's a two bedroom, two bath, eight hundred and forty square foot. Now I was looking up the rents you can get on these things. Now if they're like old, dumpy looking place, not the newer ones like these, but like the old beat up ones, they're like five hundred twenty five bucks a month rent. It's in the area. Um, so thirty thousand dollars. For a newer one, you could probably charge more than the 550. I mean, you might get up to 700s for the newer ones or more. I don't know. You gotta go check the markets. And if you get bigger square footage, you get more rent. Um, like this is kind of small, 648 square foot, 700, 700, so 800. Here's a thousand square foot. This is fifty thousand dollars. So there's a whole bunch of them to choose from. And the point is. They'll deliver one of these things to the property. You could drive right in that driveway I was looking to looking at, and they'll hook it up to the utilities. They'll include the hookups and the uh, transportation, and they'll wrap it into the purchase price. And then you can get financing from a bank, from lots of banks, with a new manufactured home like this, and the land when you own the land. So you buy the land, you put, you could wrap the land and the home up into the same financing. I mean, it's $500 property. Hopefully, you just buy the land and then do the paperwork to get that in to the financing. But you could put a new mobile home and the land together, and you could get financing from your local bank or the big bank or lots of different banks because FHA does uh, mortgage insurance on these newer mobile homes when you own the land. And it sounds like they'll do 5% down and they'll do 25 year amortizations. So if you did, uh, let's look for a mortgage calculator. I can't spell. Google helps me figure it out. Um, well, here's a mortgage calculator. Google's got a mortgage calculator. So let's say let's say we're buying the fifty thousand dollar model, the fancy one of the lower rates. It's going to be higher interest rate because just because it's manufactured home. Let's say it's six percent. I don't know what it actually is. And you're not going to get 30 years because it's a manufactured home. So 25 years. Uh, so if you did 25 years, $50,000 at 6%, your monthly payments would be $322. Now, if you're doing 5% down, that would be $2,500 plus the $500 property. So like $3,000. And if they wrap the moving and the connection costs into that, I mean, you're talking less than... You know, after that three thousand bucks up front, um, getting like three hundred and twenty, three hundred twenty-two dollars a month payments. I mean, you're gonna have to get some insurance, so it'll probably cost you some more. And taxes is like next to nothing here. And you could have the renters pay for um, electric and utilities and stuff. So let's say taxes bumped you up to three fifty. Let's say three seventy-five. Just round it off. You guys can do your own math of what you think might happen. But let's say you got a newer mobile home and started renting for seven hundred bucks a month. I mean, seven hundred bucks a month minus three seventy-five. That'd be like three hundred twenty-five dollars a month in cash flow, positive cash flow. If nothing goes wrong, if there's no maintenance, if there's no turnover. I mean, this is an ideal, non-realistic world, but it's easier to do the math this way. Three hundred twenty-five dollars times twelve be $3,900 a year. And so we were calculating with the down payment and the uh, the land purchase being about 3,000 bucks. So you get positive cash flow in year one to, to get into putting a new mobile on one of these properties if my numbers are anywhere near
close. Um, the more you research it, the more accurate you can get your numbers, right? So from then on, I mean, it's like, th let's say you throw that $900 into turnover and maintenance or something, let's call it three grand a year. Later on over time, your rents probably go down because your, your mobile home gets older, uh, but it's already paid, it's already like, it's you're already cash flow and positive, you know, they get crunched over time, but I mean, you probably take three grand or two or three grand a year out of this. And we've got lots of properties you could do this on. So you could do it on multiple properties um, or you could just fix your personal finances by getting out of a, a rental or a um, an apartment or a, a manufactured home on a, on a lot where you're paying lot rents. Your lot rents might be more than the financing to buy a new one. Uh, there's a lot of ways to do this. So it's just, maybe I just want to plant a seed and see if you see if you follow along. If you find fatal flaws with this idea and this concept, please put them in the comments below. Let's all share. Let's learn from each other. If you got better ways of doing this, throw them in the comments. That'd be great too. I read a lot of those comments, almost all of them, and try to reply to them as well. So um, please feel free to hit me up in the comments below. Um, let's go back and let's take a little tour of one of these homes. I mean, it's uh, there's a virtual tour, right? Let's bring it up. So it's there's a thirty thousand dollar model. It's one of the cheaper ones. I was doing the math on a fifty thousand dollar model, but maybe the rent yields work better on the thirty thousand dollar model. I mean, nice clean toilets and floors and sinks and faucets and I mean, just, they're well built. They're doing a really good job of putting these things together. Um, you know, the kitchen kitchen's going for it. Get your own kitchen, and uh, it's got windows. You can look out at the trees that are in the place. They're around that property, and this one's showing a TV, like how you'd have your living room set up, your furniture and stuff. Mine would have the dog jumping around, but you know, <laughs> it's just the way it is in this one. Um, you know, another bathroom, there's a bedroom, pictures of a bedroom. There's a there's the basic outside of this thing. You could plant, put some plants around it, some lights. It's got a door, just like super basic, basic kind of uh, model of what they have on the lower end. A whole kinds of them to choose from in there going on up. So if that is something that it interests you, I've got the land. I mean, right up here, right over here somewhere, $499, right there, $499. Bucks. <laughs> you put a brand new manufactured home on a piece of property for not much money. Not much money at all. For less than a car, less than car payments probably for lots of different cars out there. You can get a mobile home manufactured home, whatever you want to call it. The buy it now button is set up on the website. So you click on that and go for it. It's 499 bucks. Title information, put what name you want in there to own the property in. Tax information, where you want the future tax bills sent on this property. Contact information in case I have any questions for you. Um, while I'm doing the paperwork, click, click, hit next. Ask for a credit card or debit card. You can put it on a credit card. I'm not a real estate agent and uh, I accept credit cards, right? <laughs> so you can put it on a credit card and uh, get your own place. So just easy, cheap land coming from ruralvacantland.com. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is Luke Smith bringing you another one. Hopefully you want to watch some more of these videos. Hit subscribe and I'll keep them coming. Thank you. See you in the next one. Bye.